A pole ball of mass 0.2 kilograms moves at 3 meters per second and strikes a ball of similar mass at rest. If the second ball moves off at 1.6 meters per second at 60 degree, what is the velocity of the first ball after the collision? The givens are shown in different colors in this box, and here's a image showing the collision between the two balls. The main equation that we need to remember is momentum before is equal to momentum after the collision. First, we need to find the horizontal and vertical momentum of the second ball. I use x to indicate the horizontal momentum and y to indicate the vertical momentum. Remember the equation before equal after is in momentum vectors, not in velocity. The main equation to solve for momentum p is equal to mass times velocity. After plugging in the numbers and solving the variables, we know that the horizontal momentum is 0.16 kg meter per second and the vertical momentum is 0.277 kg meter per second. The next step, which is shown in the yellow box, is to find the final horizontal velocity of the first ball. Remember, momentum before is equal to momentum afterwards. Therefore, the formula is written as the mass of the first object times its initial velocity plus the mass of the second object times its initial velocity is equal to the mass of the first object times its final velocity plus the mass of the second object times its final velocity. After substituting in the numbers and solve for the unknowns, we, and the answer of the final horizontal velocity is 2.2 meter per second. The third step is shown in the green box. We need to find the final vertical velocity of this first ball. The formula that we need to use is the same as the second step, before equals after. After writing down the equation, we can then plug in the numbers. The final vertical velocity of the first object is negative 1.39 meter per second. The fourth step is the fourth step is shown in the blue box. After solving for the vertical and horizontal final velocity of the first ball, we can then use Pythagoras theorem to solve for the actual final velocity of the first ball. C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. After plugging in the numbers, the equation becomes the square root of 2.2 meter per second squared plus negative 1.3 meter per second squared is equal to c. c and c is equal to 2.6 meter per second. After solving for the velocity, we, can, we need to find this direction too. We use cosine theta, one of the um, basic tr trigonometry ratios. Cosine theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is the value of x which is 2.2 meter per second and a hypotenuse is the velocity that we just saw for 2.6 meter per second. Cosine theta is equal to 11 over 13 and the inverse of cosine is 32.2 uh, degrees and its direction is south of east. Finally, we check for our units. The square root of meter per second squared times meter per second squared is equal to meter per second. And our final answer is 2.6 meter per second, 32.2 degrees south of east.